So I haven't forgotten about uh, telling you what I actually have done this week. Yes, I did do stuff. Um, I once again continued with the process of drawing in my sketchbook and um, I had an interesting kind of dilemma with this one in that it turned into this shape that looked quite like a monkey with a creature on its back. And I really wanted to keep that. But then there was this other thing in my head saying, oh, well, why don't you just fill up the whole page? Oh, oh, fill up the whole page. And that was kind of like the, the, the disease taking over again and, and wanting me to do the whole thing. And I kind of compromised and thought, you know, why don't I just make it so that the tail of this creature goes out in all these different directions and, and see what happens with that. So I traced these lines out, um, which I thought was really effective because... I was able to get this kind of really st um, kind of straight and loopy standardized organic line with all the pattern at the same time and um, I think if I had just tried to draw out the pattern and have it become the shapes it wouldn't have uh, worked so successfully because it kind of, I don't know, w w the lines that I draw end up making uh, much smaller little lines within a line and that line would then go off of you know it's kind of definable um, straight looking uh, detail that I wanted that would go with the flowing tail anyways so here's the drawing <laughs> As far as a creature that stepped outside of the boundaries of just what a pattern entailed, um, I think this drawing is my most favorite and he really became something and I noticed, um, I forgot to mention a couple weeks ago I had a meeting with Tom Dean regarding another class and I was doing a research paper on him and he was talking about all his um, the tales in his work and how that relates to kind of this horizontal, um, very linear uh, gravitational pull that everything has and um, and I noticed that with all the tales that I was doing it ended up quite similar to his work but within my own lens and I thought that was really interesting because I didn't even intend for that and it just came out I don't know what that even means most of the rest of the week I um, with all the objects and all the things that were, were going on I didn't get much actual physical work done um, I did do a lot of the stop motion again. Um, I didn't get all the objects that I had picked up this week fully photographed and I haven't compiled that week, but I did, um, I was able to find a way to uh, do the stop motion for the first set of uh, objects and I guess I'll uh, in show you the other video that's on my channel as well. Um, and that's just some good, uh, that's just a non kind of edited approach to it and maybe it's just a segment and in the end I'll, I might uh, decide to have the whole video um, of all the weeks compiled into one and all the objects that I pick up in that time span and just have it this kind of flowing video that just keeps adding on so I can keep editing it and keep putting on. And that's, to me, really exciting. Um, anyway, so I'll send you a link to that in my journal. I'll give you a little taste of uh, what's upcoming for the uh, week. I guess that would be next week after this journal. So these are pictures that I took this week of all the objects that I have taken. And um, pretty much that's all I have for you this week. Uh, I hope for the next week that it will become more of a making one because I realize, you know, that's maybe my biggest disappointed, disappointment for this week was that I couldn't uh, justify that I hadn't actually have anything physical in my hands. And maybe this is the first week where that actually happened, besides maybe the drawing, but... Um, uh, I hope this uh, hasn't affected me for the rest of the year in terms of how it will, um, 
how much I'll have to rush and cram the uh, kind of daunting amounts of tasks that I put in front of myself in terms of physical work. Uh, anyways, I uh, hope you enjoyed journal number seven.